Hello ladies and gentlemen, what is going on? It has been a long time since I've uploaded a video, and I do apologize for that. But I don't really want to go into detail about it, I will just say that I'm sort of semi-retired from YouTube at the moment. But I decided to break that semi-retirement and bring you a Minecraft video. <clears throat> just got to clear my throat, had a bit of phlegm in there, that's lovely. Um, today what I'm showing you all is a... Uh, a map that uh, me and a friend made, or a world I should say, that me and a friend made. Uh, so this is not online, uh, it is just a single player save file that me and a friend exchange periodically. And this is the awesome, awesome city that me and him have made. So all this was made by two people, me and my friend Kane. And we have decided to dub it Creation Bay. And I'll just jump on the minecart, monorail, whatever we want to call it. And that is the skyline there as you're heading into the city. Uh, as I said, we've called this Creation Bay, and I'm riding along the monorail, as we call it, although it's got two tracks. Uh, and it's about 128 blocks long, or 140, I forget. It's not really important, but um, I'll probably just show you all the structures real quick. Uh, this video might need to be cut down into two different parts, because uh, I really don't want to make it too long um, for two reasons. One, because... I don't want to keep you guys sitting there for like 15 minutes, and two, because, uh, you know, everyone's got shit to do, so you don't really have time to sit there and watch a half hour long Minecraft video, I guess. But, um, yeah, uh, every building, every structure is named in this, uh, in this city that me and him have made, um, and they're all, all the structures and creations are dated, so we know when they were built. And this is Monorail Station 2, if I can just go down the ladder here. Alright, here we go. So uh, I guess I'll just try and go in uh, chronological order. Uh, this is Primera Tower. This was made by me. It was made on the 27th of the 3rd, 2011. Um, so this was the first structure in Creation Bay. Uh, this is what really started it all. Um, what you'll notice is that the architecture and the materials that we use for our creations change over time um, because we've learnt new crafting techniques and we've found new materials uh, as we've progressed. So our first few buildings are just made out of cobblestone. That there is uh, Kane's first tower. Uh, he named it Solus Tower. Uh, most of these um, names are Latin or Spanish. So Primera actually means first tower or one in Spanish, and Solus, I believe, is Latin for sunrise. I'm not entirely sure on that one. I'll, I can check that. But, um, yeah, I'm pretty sure he named it that, because before I built that, um, this balcony gave you a perfect view of the sunrise. And I'll just jump down here and Ooh. nearly die. Hello, pig. Ooh, frame rate jump. Get back here, bitch. Uh, this here was the third tower built, which is called the Symmetra Building. Uh, 30th of the third. And it was made by me. Uh, again, this one is made out of cobblestone and sand mostly. So it's very similar in materials to Primera Tower. But um, this is the tallest building in Creation Bay, except for perhaps that one there, which is Kane's uh, latest building. Uh, I, I'm not sure which one's taller. I think they might be about the same. Uh, or maybe they're like one block difference. But I've sort of got this... Well, it's not really a balcony. It's like a half-block skirting that goes around the building that I just use as a balcony. But an uh, awesome view over Creation Bay. Um, that there is... Uh, I'll get to it in a minute, but... Um, that is the Temple of Creation, and that is actually uh, a work in progress. Uh, it's kind of like a megastructure. Uh, it's like not even a third of the way done, and it already consists of like a thousand blocks or something. Um, me and Kane are actually working on that together. It's the first... Um, first building that we're both working on, um, because what we do is I'll build something, then send him the file, then he builds something and sends me the file. Um, but yeah, I'll just jump down here and hopefully not die. Alright. Uh, this hole here leads down to a section of our caverns, like underneath the bay and all these hills are basically hollowed out. Uh, you'd be lucky to dig five blocks into them without falling into a cavern. But uh, this is our main cavern entrance over here. And... Uh, Caution, Wiener Caverns, that's a, that's a penis, by the way. That's not actually an alien smiley face, if that's what you're thinking. Um, okay, I'm just going to stop going and building chronological order and show you another building of mine called Bellevue, which was made on the 10th of the 4th, 2011. And uh, 
Bellevue is kind of like a combination of uh, Primera and Solus. Uh, it uses the same stair technique as Solus, but the building structure is v very similar to a uh, Primera Tower. So it's got this nice balcony up the top. Uh, as you can see, it's got a nice little view. There's our monorail track. It runs all the way over there, where we hope to someday begin to urbanize. Um, before I go any further, I guess I'll uh, take you out to the boat, uh, which is probably one of the coolest things in Creation Bay. Uh, so the boat here was made by Kane, uh, and it is called the Laughing Jack. It's one of the more complicated structures in Creation Bay, and it is a very impressive looking one too. So, Laughing Jack completed on the 11th of the 3rd, 2011. So, I'll just climb up here. And, uh, he's got the captain's quarters in here. You can open the door, and he's got a double bed and some ninjas on a painting for some reason, and a nice view out over there towards the city. Very, very cool stuff. And then he's got the upper deck up here. And, uh, I do apologize, I am losing my voice a little bit. <clears throat> but uh, that's what you get. Uh, he even built a crow's nest right up here, which has got a very cool view. Um, a lot of things in Creation Bay have got cool views. Um, we've actually gone for a very high standard with this, I'm not going to lie. Um, I'm very impressed with it. Uh, that probably sounds a bit arrogant and a bit douchey, but uh, what can I say? Uh, he's got a crafting and forge room down here in the lower deck. And he's got... Um, storage chest, but these are both empty, I believe. Yes, they are. And, um, if I'm going to make this a two-part video, which I probably will, I'll cut it off about here. So, um, there will be a link in the description to the next one. So, yeah. But if I don't make this two-part video, then just keep watching.